What's up everybody, Peacekeeper and if you guys welcome to the brand new November season. So October season just ended. It is November is the first of November and the season has just ended and you can see we got our payout which is beautiful. Um so the yeah new November season so it's here and we have the brand new season pass with the brand new hero skin, the pirate king. So you can see this is these are basically the challenges for right now and these are basically all the rewards um, for the normal pass and the gold pass so these normal pass silver pass doesn't seem all that i would say all that exciting it has some build of gold and what's not normal loot that we normally get gold elixir dark elixir and our normal book of heroes at the end and this is the pirate king looks really really cool you can see he had his peg leg the pirate sword that you see with the very huge handle and then he has his hook arm and the pirate hat looks really really cool if you guys do cop it let me know but it looks really really cool so i have some armies trained up um they don't have any builders but they all be finishing up here soon but I do have a, a book of fighting in here, but I have a book of fighting already. And you can see I unlock my super troops. Just getting basically these sneaky goblins. With that said and done, let's do let's do some attacks. Why not? And I have loot to spend, so I'll probably spend that off camera probably. But I'll let you guys know. Um let you guys know what I did do or what I didn't do. Probably will upgrade some stuff probably get the warden going but I'll let you guys know in the next video especially for the next town hall 11 season well next town 11 series in the next video I will let you guys know what I did during the upgrades because I need to get the high priority stuff going so if you guys really do enjoy these videos especially for the new town hall 11 series that we're doing Make sure you hit the like button, especially subscribe to not miss any of it. Because I will let you guys know anything that I do pertaining to the Tower 11 series or probably the Tower 13. Because they probably bring more videos from the 11 than the 13 because I'm getting pretty close to um, maxing it as well. So I'll let you guys know everything to do. But when I'm on Tower 11 and we have the max boost as well, you get a max boost every time you upgrade your Town Hall. So every time you upgrade your time, you get a boost, special boost, and you want to take advantage with it, advantage with it because it, I believe you only get it for 5 days, depending on which time you upgrade to town 13. But we will see how that goes. But this is the first base. It has a lot of loot. It is a town hall, um, town 12, but it's a pretty low town 12. And every time I am in a new town hall and they try to attack a town hall over me, so we will attack this one right now so queen warp and basically the army that i hit legends league with queen warp foul dive and it works really really well it works well for farming as well you if you don't want to use the dark elixir you can swap out the swap out a couple of stuff for like miners if you want to go miners like a queen charge miners but i normally go run my queen warp because queen warp queen charge army because i really i am comfortable with it i believe i'm pretty pretty good with it as well so the queen is going to get hit with the single and I'm going to start the army now. So I will just pop the queen's ability if need be. But I have the warden here as well. The warden is still pretty low level. The warden isn't really much of a help I want to say. But the best thing for you to do when you do have him use him and then try to max him out because try to max him as fast as possible. Like he needs to be one of the higher priority heroes I know there's the king and the queen but the warden is a game changer so you need to get him max out as fast as possible so you can see we got to the center of the base pretty quickly um, I didn't use warden's ability which was weird but not really gonna have to worry about using him now because the he's pretty low level and the warden's ability doesn't stay for too long so I don't have to worry about using him. I'll probably try to get him maxed out, which is the best thing uh, for me. So 
basically be putting him at a really really high priority um, especially with the barracks and stuff so this will probably be the only attack we're gonna do or uh, no we're actually gonna end it here we have a, some loot 53 percent and we'll end it off here we got some decent loot yeah some beautiful loot and we're probably going for another one not worrying about the king yeah we have the warden as well so we go in for another attack so you see the boost basically i have three days left on the boost so we have to try to get as much loot as possible do as much attacks as possible especially using the max troops because you could probably you're going to be losing it um in the days that it has running but we have the cw started as well so if you guys want to see cw from the tower 11 i will bring it with the 13 hopefully i am doing it in qz again i believe my first chance at um having my first chance doing it cdbl at town hall 13 with the guys because i normally would do it in eden's edge just to basically sharpen my attacks but it seems like big d gave me a chance to do it last cdbl to do it in kills and i think i did pretty decently for my first try um what i wanted to do really better wanted to do better but i keep i always keep trying to practice as much i don't do much friendly challenges that i should be doing but i, I always try my best to practice especially at lessons league but lessons league is something completely different but i still try to practice um attack strategies that i would do in cdl i try to go a little bit outside the box in cdl especially when i was in eden's edge i try to go a little bit outside the box and use attack strategies that i normally wouldn't do like say zap lalo is something i always do um i always try to use especially the army that i'm using with the bitches that's something completely new but i know a little bit of the fundamentals on how to execute it so that's one thing i haven't tried in city world as yet by using lesson speak a lot um peckable bot i'm comfortable with it um and so at town 13 is a little bit more difficult especially with the scatter shots but it can be pulled off and I have used it at Town 13, so Peckable Bar, I would say I'm decent with, comfortable with it. Not great, but I'm decent with it. And there is Electron Lalo. I love Electron Lalo. I love everything with ear. But I would say my pathing, my Lalo pathing, I can get the value of my Electron. But it's the Lalo pathing that I have to work on. Um, normal Zap Lalo as well, same thing. Um, so I would say more of ground attack strategies that I don't really use much at Town 13. I can use hogs, but I haven't used a like a queen charge, queen charge hogs as yet. I need to, but I do use queen charges at Town 13. Especially if I'm using probably like a queen charge Lalo or Foul Dive or depending on what the base is giving me. But that's really it for the Town 13, but the Town 11... I'm gonna try to show you guys the progress, especially going through Town 13. But you can see how long it takes to uh, find bases, but I try to find decent bases to hit when I'm at Town 13, well, Town 11, sorry. And I'm gonna go through all this stuff. I'll probably do more pushing as well. Like when it was the old system for License League, I tried to hit 6,000 trophies at Town 11. Yeah, on my main base, I was Town 11. I tried to go for 6,000 and I didn't get it. Like, I was super close. I only needed like probably 200 trophies more and before the update came for to change Legends League. So it was pretty sad, but the change for Legends League now is still really good. I still really like it. But I wanted to hit 6k. I think that was like, uh, I would say that was something of mine that I wanted to do. So, another base here, another top 12. I will hit it. I always try to hit um, bases higher than me, so it really practices me when I'm hitting other Tony Levens. So I like how he has all his tree, how his the uh, trunks over there, the Halloween trunks. So it's really really cool. But I'm gonna be hitting this base. Gonna let the queen walk go. Wherever the queen goes, I will try to break her in to get this air defense right here. So the queen probably will go bottom, bottom here now. Yeah, she does go bottom. So she's gonna go walk over to the storage and I'll try to wall break. Oop, wall break isn't. Oh my god. Wall break has got sprung. 
So I'm gonna ridge them because even though they're mocks, I'll still try to get the queen ridged up so that the air defense doesn't take our healers as fast as possible. And then you can see there is the warden there as well. So baby dragon goes in and the queen probably after probability she is getting melted. Yeah, she got melted. Even though the boost on her, she still got melted. Okay, so the bowlers are going to work their way in. Valkyries break through the wall. Nope. Was too slow. And they got destroyed. So the warden's ability had to pop. And I didn't even use my jump spell, which was weird. The warden went down. Queen got melted, like I said. Um, and it seems like this one is not going to go as planned. I wanted to wall break. I probably should have wall broken. Um, not the queen. Probably, but this one is going to be ending on a zero star for the most part. I can't do much about it. 41% and we'll end it off here with the loss on the end, but terrible loot as well. But I have to end it off there. I have um, all these things. So when these finish up, yes, yeah, pull the storages and stuff. I will upgrade probably a barracks. I want to get some barracks going to get the Electro Dragon. And I've probably upgraded another couple more storages, but I'm going to show you guys. I can't hop over to my progress base. Sad, but you see, why is it in the way? I probably have to leave that tree is in the way. I'm just going to check out. Yeah. So the queen. Where's the queen? Oh, a tree and a collector is probably. Yeah, so I'll fix these here off camera. But I'm just going to show you guys the progress base really quickly really quickly so you see why I upgrade but the dark bars I want to get the ice golems so to get like ice bow bitch or ice bow bad something like that and get the normal bars to get the electro dragon but you can see I have some walls um, finished as well so these storages will finish up and then I'll probably upgrade two more storages to finish it off but I hope you guys did enjoy the video especially for the new the brand new season if you guys did enjoy the video hit the like button like I said hit the notification bell Hey, the class, um, as well to not miss any Clash of Clans content. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, Peacekeeper. And I'm out.